cow, we are dealing with a Mondo here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Outdoor Greatness. Taking a break here from our New Zealand videos. I am back here in the States now. Obviously, there's an airplane. Definitely back in the city. Y'all, I am happy to be back here, safe and sound, see the family. Right now, I gotta wrangle up my chickens. They are underneath the boat, and they are chickens now. Like, after I came back, they've grown so much, they're no longer chicks. The next few videos coming up on the New Zealand series are awesome. They are just, it's incredible, the story and everything that happened. I'm putting a lot of time into the edits, but I thought we would take a break from that and do some fishing. Okay, where are the chickens? We gotta, we gotta put you up. My bass boat. Don't go under my bass boat. Don't go under my bass boat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get in there. You too. Come on. Chickens are very social creatures. They must hang out together. There you are. Eat up. Roost up. Loading them up and getting them ready for battle. Me and Dad tucking a little little pregame smack here. Was it three years ago, Dad, of Father's Day? I got you into the Mystery Tackle Box game. That's correct. So you have been getting your Mystery Tackle Boxes ever since then. You're just gonna do a big plug right now. <laughs> LFD trying to steal my thunder. So if you wanna get started in getting a Mystery Tackle Box, and for those of you that don't know what it is, it's a little box like this. Like this is their standard box right here. It comes like this, you get your get your items in that. Um, I get the, the Pro Box. This is the one I get every month, so a little bit more bass, hardcore bass uh, specific, but there's all sorts of boxes. And if you wanna get into the game yourself or get it as a gift, because we have Father's Day coming up, if you wanna be like, uh, like me and get your dad a subscription, still going, I'll still pay for it. I straight up, I'm not, I don't even pay for that with my sponsorship. I just pay for it because I like, I like my dad. I actually, I love my dad. He's, he's a great dad. So I think he's, he's probably worth an upgrade. I could probably, could probably get you a pro box upgrade, dad. If you're good this year. I'd love that. Yeah. I like the old Your lures. tackle junkie. I do. I like the old stuff. Of, of all and, sorts. And like when something new comes out like, like that, I've never fished a jig that color. But I, I'm did you get that drive. in your box? I did. No, you did not. I did. Maybe I did. That's, that's a, a whopper plopper. I that, don't know if anybody that doesn't like a whopper plopper. That's a big time lure. You, right you got there. that in your regular box? I did. There you go. There's a the kind of deal. That's a. I think that's normally twelve ninety nine, and you can get your first box as low as five bucks if you use the promo code. As always, Mondo. Mondo, everybody, if you want to get your first box for five bucks, and if you want to check out all the special deals they have on subscriptions right now, some sales on subscriptions that are going on for Father's Day, gifting starts June 3rd. Links are down below. So those, those sales will be going on from June 3rd until Father's Day. You don't have to gift it to a dad, and you don't have to be a dad to get the special deal. It's just going on for Father's Day. Whoever you want to give uh, Fishmas in a box every month to, codes are down below. Now let's load up some kayaks and let's get out to the lake and see what we're dealing with. Hopefully it's not too flooded. Ready? Oh my gosh. Holy cow, we are dealing with a Mondo here. One of those big ones just suspended on that point. Nope. Yeah. God, he just jumped. He's a giant. Absolutely hosed it. Wow. Always be fishing. <laughs> Man, this thing is fighting so hard. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh. Come here, biggin. Yeah, baby. Oh man! 
Well, we have made it out to the lake. Me and dad just wrapped up a, a competition. It was a stiff competition. That is a nice, nice fish right there. Can I get, can I get a snip with you? Mm, gotta love it, baby. Mm. Right there, uh, that's kind of a preview of one of the one of the June baits for Mystery Taco Box. But uh, what I'm going to do right now is show you guys some of the things I got in my May box and go fish that out here. Since we just we just wrapped up our competition filming, it was a nail biter. It was close. It was good. Uh, something really cool happened. That um, well, I'll just leave you guys to go check it out. It's pretty pretty special to me. But anyways, uh, that's going to be over at the Mystery Taco Box channel on youtube so it'll be linked down below where you guys can go check it out when it airs right now we're just going to take a break get a little snack and regroup and try to go catch some fish like that because that's fun nobody can argue catching bondos is a fun time and i hardly ever get to fish with my dad so this is just a special time for me too already off to a good start today after a brief little intermission it's getting so windy out here though so I just caught a, a really nice fish on one of the, the June baits, but um, for the May box, one of the combos that I really like that's in here is a game changer jig. And um, I'm gonna show you all how, how to fish that, but basically what that is, a game changer uh, jig, trash master jig is designed with no brush guard. And it, it's basically designed where you can rig your plastic through there I've got one of the other baits in here in the eliminator. You rig it up like that, there's a screw lock there, and then that is totally weedless. So a lot of these fish have been kind of uh, suspended this morning, um, like in the tops of the trees. The trees are super nasty. So this is a good thing to throw right here. Another thing I really want to try that's in here is this Weston Swim, which is basically like a hollow body style bait. There's a lot of grass lining this uh, lake right now and it looks like it'd be uh, a really cool bait to throw. I haven't haven't thrown that one yet. So uh, Eliminators, we've also got some Cortland Master Braid right there. That's 15 pound. That'd be perfect for putting on a spinning rod I don't have one. Spinning rod with a little fluorocarbon leader on there. Just your standard Mustad hooks uh, The Ultra Ultra Lock Light. This would be great for um, putting that Eliminator on there, swimming it at the surface. Ooh, that's another thing we could do over the top of this grass hill. There's also a Lunker City Osmo in here. It's like a creature style bait. Uh, it's basically designed to be, you know, Texas rig, Carolina rig, things like that. So that's what we got going on. I'm gonna put on the Trash Master and I'm probably gonna play around with this hollow body because I just wanna see a blow up. <laughs> Speaking of blow ups, that is a green booger. So I basically have like lighter, medium heavy action rods. I really need like a heavy with some braid to get it through this stuff. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. If you're gonna fish this, fish it on braid. Here we go now. Oh gosh, I love the sound. Lock that drag down. I love the sound of a hollow body bait just hitting grass. That is, that is fun. That is a fun noise. Hey man, you're hooked up again. Man, you're smoking up. Holy cow, that's a good one. Loosen your drag a little bit. Still fighting pretty good? Yeah. Man, that looked like a daggum marlin from over there. Big. Oh my god. What do you got him on? The crankbait you gave me. The crankbait? Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. Nice. Crucial moment. I'm You're on, on that YouTube. Oh, Don't God, lose him. Oh my gosh! Look at that jump. Look at look how thick he is. Ah, oh, it's a nice fish. Yeah. Nice fish. Well, that's uh, that's quite the large one there, Pops. Oh my goodness! Woo <laughs> oh my gosh! That is what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, let's start the competition again. <laughs> Woo! LFD on fire right now. Back to back oh, catches. Wow. Good fish pop. Look how thick he is. So look, at his, look how thick his back is. 
Oh yeah, that's just a, that's a large fish. Yeah, he's young too. Biggest fish of the year for you? Uh, yeah. I, you know, this is probably my second seven. Nice, nice. Oh yeah. Hey. Yes. Air fist bump right there. Bonk. That's awesome. Hey, on the lure you gave me too. Yeah, nice. I made a little lure recommendation for you. That one's from a past mystery tackle box. It's been sitting in my truck carpet uh, for about a year. And uh, after I caught that fish on a swim bait, my dad was like, let me see something that's like a shad. Let me, let me get on that. Came out of my truck and just whacked a Mondo. Came back and got it. Oh yeah, got gotcha, you, son. Oh, that gun. Woo! Another one there. Been flipping my butt off, and then I come up on the really windblown, brushy area. Just got a couple of bites. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? Hit it on the swim up. Crazy. Oh gosh dang you got off. Oh, there's oh man. Woo, he had it. Swimming with it. I almost didn't detect you, sir. a good tree. out of this thing and 
probably over a year. Oh yeah, I got some Canadian, uh, Canadian style crankbaits. Time for an LFD check-in update. Maybe I can get some inspiration from him. Okay. Tell me your your knowledge. I've caught about seven. You've caught about seven? Yeah. That's awesome. I caught uh, that one big one. Uh, missed uh, like a three pounder. Uh, and then I caught some little ones. You know, I caught some two pounders. Yeah, all in the crankbaits? Yeah, all in the crankbaits. The uh, suspended little suckers, aren't they? Yeah. And they are on the wood. Yeah. But I, what's interesting is I caught all my fish from here back to there. I gave you one of my old MTB Pro Box cranks and it definitely paid off for you. Maybe you can return the favor. All I have is some Canadian crawfish cranks. Oh, yeah, you got the shads. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The shad look at things. You have a jerk bait, which would work. However, very windy, hard to cast right now. Through it. I think I found what I need. I did find via LFD, this was last month's um, crankbait that was in one of the boxes. I know, I'm just I'm just catching them on all sorts of MTB boxes. Hang I'm not on. biased. Hang on. You got a fish? I do. Dead give it. Yes, I do. We're getting competitive here. Oh, yeah. You just smoked him oh. on that crank. Hey! Oh. Say you later. Oh, got him right there by the boat, Dad. Ah. Right there by the daggone boat. See? Boom. Bait switch. Well, that's two bites. That's Bait two switch. Bites. I think we're going to come over here on this windy side and just get after them. There's one. Oh, man. Get it good. Throw some slack in the drag. Woo-hoo-hoo. Oh, we ain't that big. We ain't that big. Knocking slack in the drag I don't think is a thing either, but just got excited. I threw that out there. Right where you're supposed to be though, sir. Couple cranks down. Wah bam. It's just how they're doing it right now. Throw that plastic in there. You only have like a few seconds while it's sinking downward to, to get them. Whereas the, the crankbait or something else, you can get it in the strike zone and keep it there for a little bit longer. This ought to be it right in front of that tree. Boom, knock slack in my line. Knock slack in my line. Woohoo! Gotcha. Oh, golly! Slammed it in that tree. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Still got him, still got him, still got him. I see ya. Going right into the tree. Oh, this is bad news here. Oh my gosh. There we go. Woo! Okay, difficulty level. A lot. Very high. The crankbait. A good switch. I love fishing a jig. I mean. I'm a jig man, but for some reason, you know, when fish suspend, if they're not going to chase the lure down, the crankbait is the key or anything that's going to hold in that position for a long time. And then it's just lights out. When you start to get those bites while the bait is sinking, throw something that can stay in the strike zone a little bit longer. It's pretty tough in the wind, but crankbait, spinnerbait, kind of all kinds of moving baits, swim baits, those tend to work good. LFD, still getting after it out there. Having a great time today. Man, y'all, we caught a lot of fish. We caught some good fish in the uh, in the challenge this morning and then this afternoon, just uh, just having fun, father and son time. I'm just happy I got to go out and fish today and it wasn't flooded conditions, man. I'm tired of the rain, I'm tired of the floods. Wait till you guys see the next New Zealand couple episodes. It gets real hairy, but anyways. I'm just happy that we had some semi, it was stained water, you know, it was stained from all the rain, but it wasn't just a muddy mess. That's what I've been dealing with lately. Last couple of times I've been out, uh, just, just nasty. Stay tuned for the New Zealand episodes. I know I keep reiterating that, but make sure to do that. One more fist bump with my dad right there. Boop. 
he had a good time today. And if you guys have questions, comments, there's a comment section down below. You can leave them there for me. Now that I'm back in the States, I can answer your questions. I love you and I'll see you right here for the next episode of the New Zealand Adventure. It's gonna be awesome, stay tuned.